How to prevent bed bugs while traveling. If you are going to be traveling, it is always a good idea to take some simple precautions to prevent transporting bed bugs home with you. First, we will look at how to inspect your hotel room. How can you avoid picking up bed bugs? Bed bugs are hitchhikers, and their presence is not necessarily related to poor sanitation. They are equal opportunity parasites and can be found on the entire continuum of budget to luxury hotels. Most hotels work very hard at keeping bed bugs out of their properties. However, in hotels, motels, and hostels, bed bug infestations are always a threat due to the high turnover rate of many people traveling from diverse locations. When you first enter a new hotel room, it is always a good idea to do a quick inspection using a very bright flashlight. If possible, leave your luggage outside of the room. Or you can leave your suitcase in the bathtub. Bed bugs are unlikely to live there because they lack the sticky pads on their feet that many other insects have, so they have difficulty in walking across smooth surfaces such as bathtubs. Also, you can easily examine your suitcase in an empty bathtub and see any bugs trying to escape from the luggage. Your inspection should mainly focus around the bed. Start with the headboard, which is usually held on the wall with brackets. Lift the headboard up one to two inches and lean the top away from the wall to gain access to the back. Look for signs of live bed bugs squeezed into cracks and crevices of the headboard. After you have inspected the headboard, move on to the bedding. Pull the bed sheets back to inspect the entire mattress and box spring, particularly around the seams and especially at the head of the bed. Then check the remainder of the bed thoroughly using the same technique of closely examining the seams. Be sure to look for fecal spots, cast skins, and bugs. Next, check any curtains, looking carefully along the hems, seams, and folds. Finally, check any furniture near the bed, including dressers, drawers, as well as nightstands, and around the telephone, because these are also often hiding spots for bed bugs. The next morning, double check for blood spots on the sheets, in case bed bugs discovered you in the night. While you are staying in your hotel, never set luggage on the bed or upholstered furniture. This would provide easy access to your luggage if there happen to be any bed bugs present. You don't want to carry any unwanted visitors home with you. Also, if you can avoid it, do not unpack clothes into drawers, in case any bed bugs are hiding there. Your safest bet is to place your luggage on a luggage rack pulled away from the wall. While luggage racks may not be completely safe, they can help to isolate your belongings from their surroundings. When you are not using your suitcase, keep it zipped and closed. Do not lay clothing on the bed. While traveling, you may want to store your clothing in large Ziploc bags to prevent any bed bugs from getting into your clothes. Keeping clothes in Ziploc bags also make it easier to safely launder clothes that may be infected upon your return home so remember to carry extra bags when you travel. While sleeping, you may want to keep a flashlight close to the bed. Typically, bed bugs avoid ambient light and movement. Using a flashlight may help to identify an infestation during the night. What should you do if you notice bed bugs during your stay? You should politely notify management immediately if you notice an infestation. They should work with you to provide you with clean accommodations. Request a different room, one that does not share a wall with the infested room, and if for some reason management is not willing to help, you may need to decide to go to another hotel. Be careful when moving to your new room because all of your possessions do have the potential to be infested. You don't need to wash your clothing at this time, but you should take precautions to protect yourself in case some bed bugs did gain access to your clothes. Place your potentially infested clothing into a plastic garbage bag and not the end so nothing can get out. You can then safely handle that clothing when you get home. If you have any clothing you are certain was not exposed to bed bugs, you should place it into Ziploc bags if possible to prevent any unwanted insect hitchhikers from coming home with you. What should you do when you arrive home? If you encountered bed bugs during your trip or have reason to suspect the facility may have had bed bugs, it is best to treat your belongings immediately. You should leave your luggage outside of the home until it is certain there is no threat of infestation. If possible, examine your belongings outside the home, in the garage, or in a light-colored bathtub. If you did not bag your clothing at the hotel but suspect you may have encountered bedbugs, you can bag your clothing once you have gotten home. 
Be sure and make your luggage inspection and bagging as quick as possible. In case there are any bed bugs inside your luggage, they are surprisingly quick and you don't want any escapees. Whatever you do, do not unpack your suitcase on your bed. Instead, when you are ready to heat treat your clothing, you should stand next to your dryer. Take the knotted bag of clothing that you brought home with you, place the unopened top of the bag into the dryer, then untie the knot. Quickly but carefully empty the clothes into the dryer and immediately dry them on the highest heat setting for at least 30 minutes. High heat, greater than 120 degrees, will kill bed bugs and any eggs that may have gotten onto clothing. If your suitcase is infested and you want to keep it, you should contact your local pest control company to inquire about any service they may offer, including heat or steam treatment. If traveling is a way of life for you, you might want to consider commercially available small heating units designed specifically for treating non-washable items, such as luggage, electronic equipment, backpacks, shoes, sleeping bags, and pillows. These can be found online, or you can ask your local pest control company for recommendations and sources. Now that we have covered the various steps to take when traveling and how to detect and avoid bed bugs, you can have more confidence in where to look in your hotel room, what to look for, what to do if you find them, and what to do when you return home to avoid a home infestation. Again, it is important to remember that hotels want to avoid having bed bugs just as much as you do. So consider them your partners in detection. And remember, it's best to travel prepared, not afraid.